I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at the Halo app on, um, you know, on my phone here, looking at the data from my Amazon Halo Band. I've got a little camera pulled up. You can see the Halo Band in the upper left there. I'll move it out of the way now so we can take a look at the app, which is in the foreground here. Um, so this is what you see when you pull up the app. There's a feed that's showing all of your health data from your Halo Band. And um, I think the most important things on the upper right, you can see the battery level, really important to know when to charge the band and also the time that it last synced. So you can make sure your data is up to date. Um, then across here, you see these metrics pulled out. So the first one is your number of points. The second is steps, third is calories, and the fourth is your sleep for the night before. Um, so let's tackle sleep first. Uh, my sleep was 56 out of 100, fair. Um, that's a, a polite way of saying not that great, um, something I can definitely work on, but I can go into that sleep metric if I want to and see more details on how long I slept, um, what sleep stage I was in throughout the night, um, times I was awake, you can see I did not sleep that well according to uh, the data from the band, but you can see and track that and hopefully improve it over time. You can also track calories, that's your basal metabolic rates or how many calories you burn, just kind of sitting around plus calories from activity. Um, next, we'll go into steps. I've done 1,923 steps so far today, and I can get a breakdown of um, the time of day when I did my steps. So I can see if I took a long walk or, you know, maybe I just did some housework uh, when I got the most steps throughout the day. And you can also page back through previous days if you want to compare using the arrows towards the uh, upper right there. Um, but I think the kind of core metric here in the Halo app is the points feature. Uh, and this is, I think, one of the coolest things about the Halo and the Halo uh, service is that you can actually get this points value for your day. And it looks at steps, but it also looks at the overall intensity of your movements throughout the day, whether that's taking the steps instead of the elevator or you know doing a formal workout or even just not sitting in your chair. So you can see so far today, I've had three uh, points worth of moderate exercise, two points of light exercise, and no intense exercise. Um, again, this is based on heart rate and intensity. So if I you know, ran up the stairs, obviously doing that safely, but if I ran up the stairs or I lifted some weights or I did a formal workout, I would get intense points. Um, and for the amount of time I spend, I get more points for that higher level of intensity. I could also do moderate exercise, like you know, a nice paced walk or a jog and earn some points there. Again, um, the more intense the exercise, the more points you earn for it. Or I could just walk and you know move throughout the day, try to get up more, try to um, park farther away from a store, that kind of thing. It's probably going to be light exercise, and I'll still rack up points for that, although at a lower rate than the more intense ones. So it's kind of a cool metric because unlike steps that just says, okay, you know, you got X number of steps for the day, this actually looks at intensity and rewards you for doing more intense exercise, or it gives you points, um, you know, at a higher rate if you do a lot of light exercise throughout the day. So some people are going to do a formal workout, they're going to lift weights and earn a lot of intense points. Um, some people might just uh, try to be more active throughout the day and earn the same number of points through a lot more light exercise. And the final piece that I think is cool here is that you actually will uh, get points deducted for being sedentary. So if you're sitting and not moving for more than about eight hours a day, it will actually start to take points off of your score. So not only is it about getting up and moving, it's actually also about not sitting. And I think that's a cool um, feature here. So it's an incentive to get up off the couch and move around. Um, and take care of yourself throughout the day. And I love that it condenses all of this into this points metric in the app. You can see how many points you've earned today. You can set a goal for the week. Mine is 150 points. And um, it's just a really nice way to condense all the data on how you're moving, how intensely you're moving, how much you're moving, and also how much you're sitting into one metric that you can see and track on a daily basis.